Algerian national realities and right of that country to independence will end the shedding of blood and will permit France to consolidate her interests and establish with the Algerian nation new relationships based on cooperation and friendship. The recognition of the right of the Algerian people to independence is in the interest of France itself and would be quite in keeping with her traditional and liberal traditions. Mr. Chairman, gentlemen, His Majesty the King of Morocco and his government have never ceased to use all their efforts to bring together the points of view there and to seek out a just and peaceful solution to the problem of Algeria. Unfortunately, these efforts have not always been correctly understood nor weighed by the French government. The increase in the rhythm of the war in Algeria forces us to deplore again the thoughtless action of the uh, kidnapping of the Moroccan plane on the 23rd of October 1956, which stopped the Tunisian conference from taking place and therefore made it impossible for some agreement to be arrived at between the heads of the Algerian peoples and France. This was an act which was contrary to the laws of aerial navigation and therefore we could not countenance such an action. His Majesty the King of Morocco in Tangier in last September expressed an appeal that this dramatic situation be ended which troubled peace and security in the north of Africa. Then, too, our Minister of Foreign Affairs, in the course of the conversations held with the French spokesman, and in a press conference in, in New Delhi on the 24th of August of 1957, proposed the opening of negotiations so as to avoid this painful debate in the United Nations. To our great regret, our appeals to France fell on deaf ears. Last week, even last week, His Majesty the King of Morocco and the President of the Tunisian Republic conferred in Rabat and addressed a pressing appeal to the two parties, and I quote, to undertake negotiations that will lead to a just solution and thus assure the cementing of the sovereignty of the Algerian peoples in accordance